Hello everybody, today is uh, June the 1st of 2020 and I'm just coming in obedience to share what the Father has placed in my spirit to speak today. It's been in my spirit actually for almost two weeks now. I was driving earlier and I just felt his spirit all over me and I'm coming forward in obedience. And I give Father Yahuwah all the praise, the honor, and the glory. And if I sound a little stern, I can't help it because I have to give it the way the Holy Spirit puts it on me to give. I pray that you take it straight to the Father. Father wants to know where your zeal is for him. Where is your zeal? Where is your zeal for the Father? We put so much effort into things of this world and not enough into building his kingdom, not your own, into his kingdom. We don't put enough effort into doing his will. He put it in my spirit to tell the people to take up their cross and walk. It's time for us to choose who we're going to serve. That was the title. Choose you this day who you will serve. He is, brothers and sisters, he is one of his people to stop being lukewarm. It's time out for straddling the fence. We can't have one foot in and one foot out. One foot on this side and one foot on that side. I'm being obedient. He's tired of, he, he does not want any more straddling the fence. You either in or you're not. There's no gray area here, brothers and sisters. It tells you that in Revelation chapter 3, that if you're lukewarm, he's going to spew you out. None of us want to be spewed out, but that's what he said is going to happen if we don't choose. We can't have one foot in the world and try to do his will because it doesn't mix. It doesn't mix. When you take up your cross and you walk for Christ, it's going to require some sacrifice. It's going to require you to leave some things. It's going to require you to stand out in a way you don't want to stand out because the world not going to understand it. They're not going to believe it. They're not going to see it. They don't want to see it. Some people don't want to see it because they don't want you to do the will of the Father. But it is not a, it's not according to their will. It's according to the will of the Father. So choose you this day who you're going to serve. We're going along with what society says because we're afraid to stand for the Father. So many people are standing up for what they believe in of the world. What are you doing for the Father and for his kingdom? He's saying, why can't we stand out for him like that? Why can't we be bold for him like that? So what if the world thinks you crazy? So what if they don't agree with what the father has told you to do? This is about him. And many can't see right now what's going on. He wants people to come to the throne room. But yet we are still entertaining spirits because that's what's happening right now. He's allowing it. Father's allowing it. He's not asleep. He's not slumbering. He knows what's happened. He knows what's going on. He sees the things in the media. He sees what the people are doing to his children. He's not sleeping, but he's allowing these things to happen because we have yet to open our eyes to see what is going on, brothers and sisters. It is not the people. It's the spirits that are working within the people. Ephesians 6. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality. It doesn't matter who it is. There are spirits behind these people. Father said vengeance is his. Vengeance is mine. Is what his word says. He's going to bring justice in his own way. We need to stay before him. We need to get on our knees and humble ourselves. And let him do what he's going to do. Whether we like the way what we're seeing or not, this is not about, this is about, this is, this is the father's fight. We can't take the matters into our own hands. This is why some people can be in peace right now, because some people understand that it is the spirits 
It's the spiritual world that is manifesting physically. And by us taking matters in our own hands, we're only bringing division, not unity. Vengeance is the father's. There's so many people that don't know what they're supposed to be doing for Christ. Can you be bold for him? If he told you to leave a place today, would you leave it for him? If he told you to speak something for so, to somebody, would you do it for him? Where is your zeal? Christ told a rich man, we're trying to hang on to the things of this world. He told a rich man in Mark chapter 10, this is another scripture that he put in my spirit. He brought it to me. Mark chapter 10, verse 21, the rich man in the kingdom of heaven. This man knew the laws. He knew the decrees. Christ said he was lacking one thing. He told him to take all his riches and give them to the poor. Take up his cross and follow him. We got to leave these things of the world behind. Whatever is hindering us from fully submitting to the father and staying before his face, trying to understand what we are supposed to be doing according to his will, his riches and his glory, not for the, the accolades of man. Not according to what man tells you, you need to be doing. And we have become so watered down as followers of Christ because the world and society has told us that things are okay when the when the the father the bible has clearly said it's not okay whatever the father tells us we won't stand for him but we stand for the things of this world he says where is your zeal you take that to prayer please and then begin to take up your cross and walk for the most high father He's looking for people who are going to be bold for him. He's looking for a church who is going to be bold and come out of the ways of the world to do that work which he has called you to do. Where is your zeal?